Hi everyone. So right now I'm at my home and I have been reviewing a lot of resume these days and I've got to know about uh, some people that they don't even add the projects in their resume because of not knowing where to uh, work on those projects and where to get the data sets. So a lot of people are like not aware of importance of adding projects in resume, uh, whether it's for data analyst resume or business analyst or be it any kind of resume, your projects is of like very much importance. And if you don't have the projects in your resume, your resume is uh, just a 10% uh, resume. Otherwise 90% of the things is in your project. So you have to add uh, projects in your resume and the projects should be of uh, like use. For example, if you're a data analyst, you must have resumes that have data cleaning involved or data wrangling or be it uh, like presenting the data in certain uh, format. So you should have those resume uh, projects in your resume. So I think uh, I know certain websites, but for me it's Kaggle, it always wins. And I'm gonna show you like how to find those projects in Kaggle so that you can also do such projects. So yeah, let's go straight into the videos. So let's just search Kaggle over here. Kaggle have a lot of data sets and you can like explore a lot with this website. Uh, even in my career, I have like explored a lot with this one. So yeah, this is my new profile on Kaggle. And I'm just gonna show you like how you can work on the projects using this website. So let's take out one of these like these are all the data sets for you you can you can choose any but let's uh, just go with the the easiest one um not machine learning let's go with the data sets here here i'm on the data sets part and these are the trending data sets let's just click on this one amazon cell phone cl cleaned scrapped the data uh okay so when we talk about data set, they have, for example, if you're using just Excel and you don't know about any tools in data analysis, whether it's a Tableau or SQL or anything, you don't know about Python, uh, how to use the Jupyter notebook, but you know Excel, okay? And you want uh, to work on data analyst project. So what you can do, these are the data field. So they have the data sets set. Uh, you can download it from here. The data set would be available in the Excel sheet and then every column is represented over here in the bold if i download this excel file it will be an archived zip okay and in the zip folder i will have the data i can extract the data but i'm not going to do that and here are the use cases how you can use this data so you can do the product comparison for example there are products and their pricing their product name, everything is available. So this is the Amazon cell phones data. Now you can compare which is the product that was sold in a particular year. Similarly, you can uh, compare their models. You can compare a lot of things. And then there is a trend analysis. Trend analysis and ana ana analyze price trends, discount pattern. Like if you apply a discount on a certain product, whether the, uh, the customers are getting attracted over uh, this product or not. So this is kind of analysis that we use, we do as a data analyst, okay? And about the data cleaning part, the data is already clean. You don't have to remove any du duplicates over here. And yeah, you can also do exploratory data analysis, EDA, to discover pattern outliners and insights into the cell phone market. So all of this you will be able to do only when you have the concepts clear. You just need to know certain concepts in the data analysis. You have to have the strong uh, points on data analytics part. And for that also, you have the courses available on this website. Let's go to learn. See, they have the courses, the data visualization, introduction to programming, Python, introduction to money, machine learning, and all of these are free. So you can learn the concepts from here and then you can practice the data sets. Isn't it all free and available to us? So I hope you make use of this platform and not complain about you don't have the data set, you don't have the 
things to explore in, in, in the data. Everything is available for free. It says that we should have the intention of doing it. Okay. So see, this is also a Spotify data, 300 music tracks. Now you have a record of 300 in your Excel. You can use it for your benefit. You can do anything with that data. Okay. So let me know if you want next video doing a certain kind of projects using a Kaggle data set. I will be happy to do that. But for now, I just wanted to tell you that there are millions and millions of data sets present on Kaggle. You just have to perform your uh, own data analyst project and add it to your resume. That would be a really crazy thing for you all. And you will be enjoying a lot of data analysis stuff over here. So this was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really want me to create a project that is solely dedicated for data analytics, I will do that, but I would encourage you to do it yourself because this is a lot interesting when you do it yourself rather than me explaining about everything. So yeah, this was it for this video. I will meet you next time. Bye bye. All the best.